Let's talk uh, weather now. Actually, let's talk hurricanes now. In fact, more specifically, hurricane season officially starts tomorrow, but we've already had the first storm of the year making landfall on Mexico's Pacific coast yesterday. Hurricane Agatha reached Category 2 status and is dumping lots of heavy rain there right now. So let's get over to Mariel talking more about where the storm is now, and it uh, could be impacting parts of the U.S. later this week. Yeah, really interesting to see how this is going to shape up here in the next couple of days. And uh, Hurricane Agatha now considered a tropical storm has weakened as it has moved over some higher terrain there in the Oaxaca region of Mexico. It now has 45 mile power sustained winds. It's moving to the north and east at eight miles per hour and the more north and east it moves. It's going to still be running into some pretty high terrain. Actually, some of these regions higher than anything in the lower 48. So this will continue to move into the north and east, likely making it into the Yucatan uh, Bay, and that's what's going to help help maybe develop it into something. Agatha, by the way, making landfall as a cat to around 4 p.m. yesterday. So this will continue to move on to the north and east, bringing in that heavy rainfall, and you can see how much moisture there is there. And National Hurricane Center has now put an eye on this to really try to see what it's going to do as of now has about a 60% chance of it developing into a cyclone. And if it does develop into a cyclone, if it makes it to tropical storm status, it'll get the name Alex since it's now going to be in the Atlantic and it'll bring rain wind and big waves along Florida's coastline here as we approach the weekend. So definitely something to watch here as Agatha kind of dissipates and maybe turns into Alex here in the days to come. Again, the official start of hurricane season in the Atlantic, June 1st. Tashara.